some good tips. Well, we've got some good tips over here too. get ready for a fishing adventure. Paige is dropping a line with North Texas Catfish Guide Service to learn how to reel in a big one. And she's live at the beautiful waters of Eagle Mountain Lake to show us some fishing techniques that will have you hooked. You see what I did there, right? Paige, you saw what I did there, right? <laughs> yeah, I certainly did. Boy, I gotta tell you, this I caught a big one. Look at this. Just call it beginner's luck, why don't you? Uh, but I think I'm going to throw them out. Anyway, we are here, as you said, at the beautiful Eagle Mountain Lake, and I'm excited to introduce you to Chad Ferguson. He is with Texas Catfish Guide Services, and he's going to be telling me some insights into how to catch these fantastic catfish that are throughout these waters. Hey, Chad, how are you? I'm wonderful. You're looking very tall. Yes, ma'am. Very, very tall indeed. So first of all, let's start kind of at the at the very beginning. So we're here. The lake has got. So oh, you got one! You got one! You got one! You got one! Come on, hold on to it, my friend. Oh, look at that! Ooh, he's slimy. I think that is so impressive. I'll let you handle it from here. But you have, there's a whole kind of, there's a whole, there's a lot of different things you have to kind of pay attention to. First of all, it is the bait itself. And this, I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, looks luscious. What <laughs> bait are you using right now? So this is called Mr. Whiskers Catfish Punch Bait. Ooh, and, yummy. Uh, it's stink bait, I guess, what a lot of people would call it. I can smell, <laughs> I'll tell you with assurance, yeah. it is stink bait. Doesn't smell great, but uh, it catches a lot of fish. Okay, well, can you give me some initial steps on how, because what I'm noticing here is that you're not casting. Oh, is that another one? It was another bite. Okay, did I ask you yeah. at all? No. Okay. No, you're uh, good. But you're not casting the way that I would traditionally think fishing, you fish. So can you give me... Can you give me a little bit of insights into what I do? Yeah, so let's show you here. Okay. So just put your rod tip down towards the water. Okay. Like, All right. like that. Okay. Move, your, move your left hand up by the reel okay. there. There you go. All right. And then just open the reel right here. Okay. And let line out until it goes all the way to the bottom. Okay. And then whenever it touches the bottom, how do you know of when it touches the bottom? It'll stop. Oh, okay. There you go. Now we're just going to close this. Okay. And, and then, then do I start reeling up or kind of keep, right keep it going down here? There. Just reel it just a little bit just to get the slack out. All right. Of well, it. while I'm waiting for the big, big, big bite coming out of here, oh, they got another one. Oh my gosh, that's a little bitty baby. It is. They're Let's getting smaller. Let's talk a smaller. little bit about the different techniques that you use. We have some. Uh, we have some steps on our screen. Tell us a little bit about some of those techniques that you recommend. Um, yeah, so, you know, there's lots of different ways to fish and, and lots of different species to target in the state of Texas. Um, you know, I fish obviously a lot for catfish and then I do some white bass and crappie fishing as well. Mm -hmm. um, the, the first and most important step is to uh, understand the fish that you're targeting. Mm -hmm. And um, Texas Parks and Wildlife website is a great resource, has oh, oh, lots of information. I got, one. I got one, I seriously did. I seriously got one. Folks, ladies and gentlemen, this is exciting news. I, what happened to it? it I Y'all have to trust me on this. I caught Here, one. Catch this one. Okay, oh, oh, I got one. I got one. This is a, geez, Louise. Oh, look, <gasps> look at that, I caught one. I'm so impressed. Well, actually, you caught one, but still, we're doing this together, so it kind of counts, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. We're, but we're going to let him go. So let's also talk a little bit about, is there any kinds of regulations about the fish that you can keep and the fish that you do have to let go of? Wait, I'm going to do this thingy, right? I do this. Yes, yeah, so every, uh, every species of fish has different... Uh, you know, size limitations mm -hmm. and, and quantity limitations. Um, again, Texas Parks and Wildlife website is a, a great, uh, you know, resource for that where you can find all that information. And uh, that's definitely one of those things you wanna make sure that you're in the know about because uh, you can get a, some very, very expensive tickets for keeping undersized fish or too many fish or those kinds of and things. And the other thing too is something I had to do before I came out here was make sure, Jeez. I think I got one. I think I got one. Do you think I got one? You don't think I got I one? I don't think so. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Do you think I should bring it up to see if it took yeah, my bait? Yeah, let's go ahead and reel it up and check. We'll okay, anyway, bait. so 
The other thing that you have to do too is you have to get a fishing license. I'm so determined to catch a fish while I'm still on camera. So you might make sure you can do that. It's not expensive to do, but as, as Chad over here mentioned that you can really get yourself into a hefty fine. So make sure you get a fishing license. Okay, is this ready to go? Yes, ma'am. Did you put it to the bottom of the thingy? Uh, no, okay. ma'am. So I need to, I need to let the... Yes, ma'am, let oh. it down. Okay. Well, they're telling me to wrap, and that kind of makes me depressed. There are some safety concerns that you need to keep in mind as well. Briefly go over those. Uh, obviously, you want to wear sunscreen, wear good sunglasses, being out in the sun a lot, protect your skin, protect your eyes. Um, you know, obviously, if you're running in a boat, you want to make sure that, uh, you know, you're aware of the water that you're navigating and, mm -hmm. you know, what you're running into, wear a life jacket, um, you know, make sure somebody uh, knows where you are, obviously, and, uh, you know, in case something were to happen so people can come looking for you. And, um, you know, those, those are really the big ones. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I mean, I have to wrap it up here, which is a little sad because I was really hoping I could catch one for you folks because if I can catch a fish, believe me, everybody can. And it's also pretty therapeutic to be out here as well. So definitely come and check it out. You can find it more information by going to the website. We've got it on your screen. And you got to tune in tomorrow. Can you put my bait on really quick? Absolutely. you got to tune in tomorrow because we're going to be kind of cooking up a messy catfish with the famous chef John Bunnell from Fort Worth. We're going to be showing you that tomorrow. And meanwhile, I'm keeping my fingers and toes crossed that I can catch me a big one. I'll also let you know on social media. You can check that out on Good Morning Texas' social media or on my own. All right, Aaron. I'm a little sad right now, but I'll send it back inside to you. Oh, did I catch one? No, maybe, so. maybe. Wait, did I did. You, get one? I did. you got one. Oh, I you got one, girl. I, maybe. Wait, I, I, I got one. I got one. I did got you? One. Let me. I see. got one. I got one. I did not get one. She, oh my Never gosh! Mind. Put the camera back on me. Sadly, that my was enough. Is empty, <laughs> but I'm going to continue to try, though. <laughs> All right. Uh We've got an update. We've got an update. Paige caught a big one. Hallelujah! Look at that. Uh, she caught a fish. I know, and I'm glad she caught the fish, but you know what? I never know what to do with the fish after you catch it. Look how big it is. Oh did my good gosh. Job. Good job, Paige. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she was out with North Texas Catfish Guide Services on Eagle Mountain Lake. She oh. didn't catch one during the show, but right after we got off of her live, she caught that big fish. Mm -hmm. Remember to watch tomorrow as she prepares her fresh catch with uh, Chef Bonnell at his ranch, which is going to be super they're gonna exciting. They're going to make that fish? I feel bad for the fish. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what's hard about fishing. They're cute, and then you catch them, and then you have to figure out what you Jane's do. Jane's favorite food is fish. Like, let's be so serious right now. <laughs> but I'm a hypocrite. I don't want anything to do with catching it. <laughs> have a good morning, Texas. We'll see you right back.